<laughs> some articles about some monks who kind of uh, talk bad about me. And uh, they wanted to uh, kind of openly air it. I said, no, no, these are different monks. They just misunderstood. They just did not read well, study well about my teachings, and they misunderstood. But they are not demons. We only try to fix the demons, not the normal human monks. Monks are just humans. When they do not study a lot, they only get fixed into a square of knowledge of something and fix themselves to it, uh, which is also not bad. It's just that uh, in my position, I have to teach people. I have to know many things. That's why I studied with different religions since I was younger, up till when I came out to take this business. You have to know because people in the world, they have different opinions and different religious set systems of belief. You have to know in order to explain to them, to teach them, to integrate into their way of knowledge, into their opinion. If you don't know all that, you can't teach people. Suppose I'm just a normal monk. What shall I do? Huh? Just teach Buddhist people to recite Amitabha Buddha or recite some mantras or recite uh, some sutras. If people even have those sutras, there are so many sutras in Buddhism. Thus, we have to know many things in order to live well with other faiths and not be attacking other faiths and only saying, my faith is the best, it's the only one, and the others are heretics. That is not the right concept, because as I have studied more many religions, I know our main good religions came from the same source, God, and their knowledge, their explanations, their teachings could be understood slightly differently because of the ways they express them. But if you truly know the best method, like the Guaning method, which is the only method that leads to Buddhahood, then you are highly enlightened. Then you truly understand your religion and all religions is true. <laughs> 